Is there a quest in there? What the heck? No. What is this? Upgrade materials. I missed that. So that's the fast travel point. That's where the dude was. There's a house there with upgrade materials that I missed. Yeah, that's still pretty far. Um, let me run back, grab the upgrade materials, and then come back to this door. Just want to check out the... Yeah, that's what I thought. There might be some loot here as well. Tomato. Onion. Take all that. Alright, let's rush back. One of these houses has the upgrade material. Is it this one right here? I think it's this one right here. Reinforced chest, blacksmith's knife, what is that? Coin, powder of sympathy, coins, and lockpicks, yes! I was completely out of lockpicks. Nothing back here. Oh yeah, that was totally worth it. Hell yeah. Oh, that's not even the house with it. It's beside. Wait, what? Great material. Is that underneath the water? It's not in that house, right? No. It's, uh, it's somewhere here. Great materials. I'm looking right at it. It's gotta be underwater then, because there's nothing here. I'm sorry, what? Something floating right there. I'm literally standing on it. I don't see shit. I actually don't see shit. Alright, I'm just gonna save and give up on that. Let's check out what's behind that, uh, that door. Alright, here we go. Crypt of Sewell First Foot. Oh. It's a crypt. Um... I don't know if I should explore that or if I should keep making a, my way towards the uh, Shadow of the Horns. But I am right here. Dark. 
Okay, let me just finish taking a look around here. And then I will actually, yeah, let's take a look at the crypt. I don't know when the next time I'll pass by here is. Let's take a look up top on the wall. Oh, there's another barrier here. Doesn't let me go up. Well, that's weird. What's around here? Nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's check out the crypt, actually. I kind of want to see what's inside. That's pretty cool. Before I do, though, let me see what was this. Pestilence Spear. Magic Projectile. Piercing Projectile can cause poison. Base damage 10 to 14. That is the same amount of damage as this, right? 8 to 12, 10 to 14, slightly higher. But my current burning ember is 14 to 18. So I should still just keep with burning ember, it looks like. That's cool, though. Alright, let's head on inside. It's bound to be some good loot in a crypt, right? Some nice armor. Whoa, okay, we got a couple enemies. I have a feeling uh, I might get a quest that involves coming here later on. But maybe I should just uh, go through it first. Ragged peasants dress tattered boots. Merlin's thorn. Nice, I'm getting a lot of cool magic. 12 to 14, homing and piercing projectile. But my burning ember still does higher base damage. Okay, that is kind of a shame. Alright, let's do some lock picking. Nice. 21 coins. Very good. Cider. Now, for the three dudes over there, I'm wondering if I can just shoot... Oh, what's up here? I was wondering if I could just shoot through the bars and then they wouldn't be able to get me. And then they would be too dumb to go around. I don't think so, but that was one of the thoughts I had. Attack. 
Feel free to uh, pause anytime, guys, just to read through this. Alright, there we go. Let's take that. Damn, I actually can't preemptively, like, snipe him? That sucks. <sighs> Looks like I might actually have to just go in. Oh no, I actually can't. can't go in. Unless I like drop down from here, I think. Um, I don't really want to drop down because there might not be a way out afterwards. I don't see a way out. If I were to jump down. Okay, cool. Let's not do that then. Nice. That was a cool little exploration done. Didn't really manage to get anything cool except for Merlin's Thorn, but my Burning Ember spell is still better, so... Not much use there. 